While I'll be like truth or dare, while I'll be like truth or dare for big girls, because this on pairing, eh, you know, they cost some kind of things for that house already. And guys, let's just talk about it, okay? One, two, three, four. Hey, my name is and welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin Bethar. I'm excited to have you here. Now, if this is your first time coming across my channel, you are most definitely welcome. Please make sure to hit on the subscribe button before you leave. And also give this video a thumbs up right now or at the end if you enjoyed watching it okay and of course to my returning bathrooms i'm gonna chuck my gilly to your eyes <laughs> but yeah <laughs> welcome back i love you guys so much thank you for always being here all right now let's get straight into it guys last night during our family meeting now if you're new here you also probably will be wondering what family meeting is it's our usual live stream that we have together you know so we call it our family meeting where i'm talking and you're talking at the same time okay so last night like i mentioned while we we're having our family meeting we had spoken about the whole you know on pairing and how dramatic it was big brother hereby removes your crutches the pairs are hereby dissolved and your fate is now squarely in your hands and i also mentioned to you guys that i was so sure that there will be different conversations here and there i talked to you guys about the conversation sean was having with you know victoria but guys the part we did not mention was the part where sean was telling victoria don't worry i'm going to help you i'm going to help you i don't know for some reason he thinks that he's stronger than victoria guys let me know what you think about that. Do you think that that's the case? Do you think Sean has a stronger fan base, you know, compared to that of Victoria? Guys, just let me know all of that in the comments. Okay, now back to the truth or day that they had last night. Guys, to be honest here, yeah, when they started that truth or day, I already knew that. You see that kiss Ebuka had spoken about concerning Double K, well, previously Double K. I knew for sure that the housemates were not just going to let it slide that way. Now, some people had questions as to, oh, better were there no fights immediately after the whole question Ebuka asked here and there. And my response to that would be that because of the whole unpairing thing, I feel like the emotions from the live show had already gone down and now they were more focused on how to further their games, how to play as individuals and all, right? So, of course, after the whole unpairing happened and all of that, they got back into the house house and very quickly they decided you know what we're going to be giving the viewers more games you know we're going to be giving them more games especially now that we're no longer playing as a pair so it's not like when i do something you know my partner will be pissed and all of that you know for example the whole nipple thing you guys saw how that kind of riled kelly up and a lot of people were just keeping their cool because oh i don't want to do something that will hurt my pair and all of that so now you guys are no longer a pair can we have the game with your full chest can you play the game and guys it was no brainer somebody was definitely going to dare kelly ray and cassia to kiss and ben took the bull by the horn he's like you know what i dare you kelly to kiss cassia the same way ebuka mentioned that people have been stealing kisses here and there show us okay show us and guys of course kelly took the challenge you know with his full chest and was trying to kiss cassia <laughs> and cassia was moving back and said hmm you dare your body if i, if I use this my scar I'll choke you side i go bring that mouth come close you say, uh, uh, she was moving back, moving back. Now the boy say, mm, mm. I say, wala, wala for kiss, oh, wala for kiss. Now another dare was for Cassia, and this time they are dead Cassia to give Kelly Ray a lap dance. You guys know that they will want to milk this revelation they can gave them yesterday. You know they're like, oh yeah, Cassia, go and give Kelly Ray a lap dance and all of that, and she refused. She decided to do something else, and they told her, oh yeah, if you are not going to give him a lap dance, you are going to carry him on your back. And she like, bring it on. You know, one hand, mom. I'll carry Kelly for back, like in a small picture. I say, hey, Mama, your bone's strong. Oh, mm, your bone is really strong. And the housemates were surprised too because she just backed the guy like nothing did there. Yeah. I'm like, okay, okay, guys. Now, another day that got my attention last night, you know, was that of um, Anita and Tofa. You know, they had dared Anita to kiss Tofa. Now, of course, the kissing is not the issue. They told her, kiss Tofa and use your other hand to grab his banana. Hmm, use your other hand to grab his. Um, <laughs> and this girl literally pretended like she was gonna touch it she kissed him and pretended now the boy said no mama come back here you didn't touch it i said eh? so far you said you want me to touch her mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what that shall never end in this household this guy was like yeah you have to touch it brought her back even anita was like huh <laughs> she was surprised because she didn't think that you know Tofa would want her to do that guys i found that very hilarious and then of course there was the whole chizoba and uh, what's his name chizoba and ben you know their kiss and all of that even though the kiss ended in a fight i'm like well you should just carry yourself and go outside 
But guys, let's talk about some of the conversations. Guys, did you hear Nelly say to Suj that now that they are no longer a pair and all of that, she doesn't really think that she needs to answer to Anita anymore. So that she doesn't really think that she needs to tell Anita whatever it is that you know she's dealing with or whatever it is that's happened. I'm like, girl. It's not up to 24 hours. And never I will reach three hours where they're on pair and I've been at four hours. You don't already they tell as in you're making it seem like you telling Anita things in the previous weeks is just because you had to and not even because you guys share a friendship. I'm like Okay, I mean I did not understand that and, and I'm just not going to understand it. Maybe you guys help me again. <laughs> help me. Tell me what you think about that. Like, why do you think she said that? Like, was there a need for her to have mentioned that to Suj? It just made me feel a certain way about their friendship because for me, I felt like they shared a very special friendship. Yes, they don't talk about everything all the time. And so it's not like we're used to you people talking about every single thing. So why do you think there's a need to make that a talking point? You know? I don't really know, but guys, let me know what you think, okay? Now, there was also a part where Wani had asked Sean, and eh, Sean, do you think that you would ever go into the diary room and put me up for nomination or even put my sister up for nomination? I'm like, Mama, hello, you are all targets in the house, okay? Once I feel like I need to put you up, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put you up. Okay, so which one is you asking, Sean? And eh, are you going to ever put me up? Is he ever going to cross your mind? What were you expecting him to say? Oh, no, don't worry, I'm never going to do that. Uh, what were you expecting? Obviously, he gave her the answer she needed. You know, I'm not going to do that. Uh, I'm not going to say, mm, not be my phonetic. So it will get to a point where you guys will not have a choice. I mean, over time, we've seen them put up people that they're not really close to and all of that. But then you know that the game progresses and it gets to that point where whether I'm close to you or not, you have to go because either I chase you out or I get evicted because, you know, people might put me up as well. So it's like, you know what? We need to calculate 247 who needs to go home. This is not about oh baby, baby, or kiss, kiss, or licking neck. See, licking neck cannot bring you out of this one. Okay, if it gets to the point where Sean needs to put you up and vice versa, that will definitely happen. So, for me, that question was just unnecessary. I don't know the assurance she was looking for, but mm, I didn't really think that was necessary. I didn't think that was a necessary question. Okay, now before I end this video, let us talk about that question that they had asked Kelly. Now, there were some housemates at the dining area, there was Kelly Ray. There was Cassia, there was Wani, there was Sean, there was OC. Who else was there? There was Victoria because Victoria was the one that even asked this question. Victoria's like, okay, double K, well, former double K, Kelly and Cassia. Now, if it gets to the point where you both are left in this house and, you know, we have to decide who's to win the game and all of that, who would you rather win? And Kelly... Kelly used to decide, tell us what's in their mind. Kelly said to them on that table that, look, yeah, at the end of the day, he would want himself, you know, he would want to win the game by himself. And he gave his reason, guys. His reason was this. If I win the game as Kelly, the money is not just for me. The money is our money. That is my money and Cassia's money. But if Cassia wins this game, this money is going to be Cassia's money. And I'm like, okay, I see what you did there. And it's not his fault, too. It's not his fault because normally we girls, we always have to say, mm, my money is my money, your money is our money. And I'm sure that's the principle Kelly is working with. Guys, let me know. Do you think that was like a, a, a signal to the fans to start voting him, you know, more than his wife? Or like, let me know what you guys think about that. And if you were to choose, if you were to answer that question, Question, who would you rather win between Kelly Ray and Cassia? Now, we're not saying that they are the winners or anything. I'm just speaking based off of the question Victoria had asked. Okay, so let me know if you were to choose between Kelly and Cassia, who would it be? Because you guys know right now we do not have anything called Double K anymore. We are calling them by their names. Like I mentioned last night, they're going to have their head of house challenge today. And of course, the live nominations where, you know, just one person will get to become head of house by virtue of winning and of course gets immunity. What I know for sure is that there's going to be live nomination show today after the head of house challenge. So yes, at this point, it's a case of let's just be patient, you know, just to see what exactly happens. My mind is telling me that they might all just be up. <laughs> You know, Biggie Bajor, so yeah, everybody, you are up except the head of house. I really don't know what's going to happen, but like I said, I'm just going to wait to see what Biggie has up his sleeves. But if you think that you already have an idea of what it is that's going to happen during the live nominations, please feel free to let me know all your predictions in the comment section, okay? Again, let me know what you think about the kiss and, you know, were you surprised that they dared these two people to kiss? That's Kelly Ray and Cassia. I wasn't surprised because I'm like, mm, 
I'm sure they are going to milk it. The housemates are going to want to see when they are kissing and all of that. And I love that they were very dramatic about it. In fact, when Kelly was kissing the Cassia, they were like, Toby Ford, sorry, oh, Toby Ford, sorry. I'm like, uh oh. I think I Toby Ford for this matter now. But I mean, that was him just trying to spice things up in the house because even though Toby Ford is aware on the outside that they are married, the housemates do not know that. So, of course, it's like, oh, you are hurting Toby Ford's feeling and all of that. That's what they're going to assume. But we know the truth, all right? So, yeah, guys, just let me know what you think about all of that. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already, and, of course, I will see you guys on the next one, okay? Bye!